Hi everyone. Uh, in this first video for Econometrics, I just want to talk about the different types of data that are out there and talk about uh, what type of data the hard sciences have and what type of data that we have in uh, the social sciences. So in the hard sciences, they often have experimental data. Now, experimental data is the result of controlled experiments. All right, and what makes an experiment a controlled experiment is that there's a control group and there's a treatment group. Okay, and the person running the experiment can randomly assign whatever they're looking at into the control group and the treatment group. So, uh, an experiment that I did way back in uh, biology as a freshman in high school is we just looked at the growth of rate of yeast in petri dishes. Okay, relatively simple experiment where we randomly took some uh, petri so we put a bunch of yeast in a uh, petri dishes and we randomly selected some petri dishes and said they're the control group and then we randomly selected some other petri dishes and we said they're the treatment group and the treatment group got an extra added chemical. And then we looked at over time what happened to the rate of growth in yeast in those petri dishes. Because these petri dishes are alike in every single respect, except for the fact that the treatment group receives the chemical, we know that any differences are due to the presence of the chemical. As a result, this sort of experimental data is great for determining causality. Really what we ultimately want to be able to do with our data, whether you're talking about the natural sciences or the social sciences, is we want to be able to determine causality. We want to be able to say what thing causes something else. Okay? And it's relatively easier in the hard sciences because they can do these sort of controlled experiments. Now, we can't really do controlled experiments in the social sciences for obvious reasons. So if you really wanted to design a randomized uh, or an experiment to determine the effect of college major on starting salary, you would have to randomly assign individuals, some to economics as their major and others towards, say, you know, marketing. And then when they graduate, you could um, say, well, you know, the groups are alike in every single respect, except some majored in economics and some majored in marketing. And therefore, the differences between the two groups are the choice of degree. You can't do or we don't do that uh, because people get to choose their own major. As a result, in the social sciences and economics, we have observational data, which means we observe entities in uncontrolled settings. uncontrolled settings. And by, by that I mean the person doing the investigation, the scientist, experimenter, economist, whoever you want to think about it, they can't control the setting in which uh, the people, firms, states, countries, whatever you're talking about, interact with other um, entities. Right. So because you can't control that, sometimes it's hard to know the direction of causality. So it's difficult, hard to figure out hard to determine causality. It's not impossible, and a lot of this course is about that, hard to determine causality. Okay, It's not impossible, but it can be very difficult. In a great situation, we have what we call quasi-experimental data. Quasi-experimental data. Now, if time permits, we'll talk more about this at the end of the semester, but these are sometimes called natural experiments. And these are things that just happen naturally. The economist or the social scientist didn't cause the thing to happen. It just randomly happened because it was a random event. We can figure out causality uh, due to that. Right? So there's really two types of data, the experimental data and the observational data. We would love to have experimental data in economics. For the most part, we don't, which means we're working with observational data where we can't control the setting or the environment in which the individuals, firms, or countries that we're talking about interact. And as a result, it can be very hard to determine causality. So the holy grail of econometrics is determining causality, what things cause what. Um, does choice of major determine average starting salary? Does student-teacher ratios influence test scores? Uh, does you know, printing money affect the inflation rate or the unemployment rate? Those types of things are things we would love to be able to figure out, but it can be very difficult because we have, uh, the entities we're observing are in uncontrolled settings. All right, so that's the first uh, short little video for this course. The next one's going to talk about the different structure of data we use in e economics.